What's up guys? So have you um, purchased your sublimation printer and you just can't seem to get the nozzle check to fully put all the ink on the paper? Something like this. Let me show you how to fix that. So the first thing that you want to do on here is you want to make sure that you go to the settings tab on your printer. Now, if you have an Epson, then, you know, of course, this is what you want to do. Then you want to go to maintenance and you want to go down to um, ink cartridge replacement and you want to click start for it to start the process. This will allow your um, allow you to open up your printer so you can move um, the printer here that's in the inside. Well, the ink, the ink here that's in the inside. So this little tray right here, you guys can really take this out because you really don't need it. So this little part here, all you really have to do is this little bitty switch that's right here. All you have to do is push it out and it will release it. These little ends here, it'll release it so you can take this out. Like I say, you really don't need this. You don't need this little part on here, so you can just kind of store this. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to grab you some paper towels, probably about two little sheets or something. You want to fold it over just like this. And you want to place it right here in this little area here because what you're going to do now is push your um your ink cartridge over that paper towel so that you have it looking something like this one on one piece on this side one on the other side right over there let's see can i get you to see it just like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our nozzle check that printed out as you can see here the blue and the yellow is the one that's streaky so what i need to do is push some air Push the air out of those cartridges. So how we're gonna push the air out of your cartridge, you wanna grab your syringe that came with your refiller ink cartridges and have just a little bit of space that you've, peeled, that you've pulled out, just a little bit, not a lot. And you wanna put it in the hole that's right here, that little hole that's there. And don't push it too hard, but hard enough where it goes in and just push it softly just a little bit. And then once you do that, just pull this over to see if you want to just pull your paper towel over just a little bit to see if any ink came out when you push that over. If it did, that's fantastic. If it did not, you just want to do it again. Make sure that you're using a different syringe every time you do this. Now we're going to go to the yellow and push it in. Let me pull this out just a little bit. Push that in and push it down just a little bit, not a lot. And that yellow came out just a little bit. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to push the yellow one more time just to make sure that it's coming out. Pull this out before you move your paper towel. And now the yellow is coming out, as you guys can see right there. So what I'll do is I'll push this back over and uh, do the nozzle check one more time. Make sure that you push your cartridge over. Now, if you don't take that little piece off the top, you're not able to move this back and forth. So, like I said, just pull that, push the little part on the side and it'll come right off. Push that back in place. And now we'll do this nozzle check one more time. Make sure you close the top to your printer. Now, at this point, all you have to do is just let the printer do what it's supposed to do. And that's, you know, getting your ink and everything leveled out and all of that good stuff. So I uh, will be back once that nozzle check is printed. Okay, so now you just want to press the home button and go over here to settings, maintenance, and print nozzle head check. And let it print. All right, so nozzle head print came back successful. As you can see, there are no spaces in my lines on my um on my nozzle head check so it's good to go i hope this video was helpful if it was share it with others so everyone can know how to set up their printer because this was a complete headache for me when i first received my printer and tried to figure out how and why my ink was not reaching um the place of whatever it's called why it was not giving me a uh, nozzle check that looked just like this